In Greece, a freight train carrying American Abrams tanks was intercepted and halted by members of the Communist Party of Greece KK and its youth organization, KNE. According to Bulgarian military media outlet, this intense show of anti-imperialist sentiment resulted in the train's journey from the port of Alexandroupolis to Bulgaria being stopped. The group made their protest known with stark and evocative slogans such as, murderers go home, mockingly painted on the tank carriages in bright, sanguine paint. This act of defiance effectively rerouted the train. The train, specifically targeted due to its military cargo, was barricaded by the group. Evros, a local news website, reported the event, emphasizing other slogans that they shouted. One such chant was, Alexandroupolis is a port of the people, not the fortress of the imperialists. These potent words, combined with the murderers go home graffiti on the tanks in bold red paint, created a dramatic statement that quite literally halted the train in its tracks. Waving banners and flags with enthusiasm, KK and KNE members bravely stood in front of the stopped train. Their demand was simple, that the US NATO killers should leave Alexandroupolis and the entire region. China may attack Taiwan by 2027, U.S. top admiral says. China is expanding its military and nuclear arsenal, and these signs indicate that it is ready to invade Taiwan by 2027, according to the commander of the United States Indo-Pacific Command, Admiral John Aquilino. Bloomberg reports, according to him, despite China's economic problems, its official defense budget has increased by 16% in recent years, exceeding $223 billion. The admiral added that in the three years since he took command, China's army has introduced an additional 400 fighter jets and over 20 large military ships into its arsenal. Beijing has also doubled its arsenal of ballistic and cruise missiles since 2020. All indications point to the People's Liberation Army meeting President Xi Jinping's directive to be ready to invade Taiwan by 2027, Aquilino said. According to Aquilino, Chinese military forces are also practicing various tasks related to operations against Taiwan, including simulating encirclement through maritime and air blockades. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Lin Jian states that Taiwan is China's internal affair, accusing Washington of causing division in the Asia-Pacific region. Some people in the U.S. have been trying to hype up the China threat narrative to escalate tensions across the strait and instigate confrontation. We firmly oppose that, he said. China's defense budget remains as much smaller than that of the United States. President Joe Biden proposed a Pentagon budget of $850 billion for the fiscal year 2025 earlier this month. This includes $500 million for replenishing armaments, which will be provided to Taiwan under the first funding request aimed at addressing aggression in the region and ensuring continuous support for Taiwan. In the spring of 2022, President Joe Biden stated that the United States was ready to use force to defend Taiwan. U.S. election. Expert identifies key challenge for Ukraine if Trump wins. The main challenge for Ukraine in the event of Donald Trump's victory in the U.S. presidential elections lies in the likelihood that Washington will not engage in foreign policy for an extended period, including assistance to our country. This is stated by Alexander Kraev, an analyst at the Ukrainian PRISM Center. The main challenge is that for quite a long time, up to six months, maybe more, the United States will be busy trying to digest Trump and his new reforms. And it will not be clear whether Washington will be able to engage in foreign policy during this period to help Ukraine and other partners. One way or another, Trump will be problematic and a crisis. But I will not say that this is an apocalyptic scenario for us, Krayev added. 
In his opinion, Trump will be problematic and crisis-ridden anyway, but it is unlikely to be an apocalyptic scenario for Ukraine. We can see how his rhetoric can change. However, the point is that for us he is not so predictable as Biden, added the analyst. Ukraine will be particularly attentive to the elections in the United States, including because Trump's promise to end the war within 24 hours and hints at stopping aid cause concern. Although lately he has softened his rhetoric and Republicans who have blocked a $60 billion package have picked up his idea and are preparing a bill that would partially close Ukraine's military needs on credit terms. In any case, his possible victory will be a challenge for Ukraine. The U.S. presidential election is scheduled for November the 5th, 2024. According to forecasts, the main candidate from the Democrats will be the incumbent American leader, Joe Biden. From the Republicans, besides Donald Trump, former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley took part in the race, but she withdrew from the race in early March.